Hello and welcome to a tutorial on XFX Karaoke Graphics, a complete set of plugins that makes it easy to add karaoke sing-along lyrics to your videos. You'll find the plugins under XFX Karaoke in Final Cut Pro in the title sidebar, top left. There are three main types of lyric plugins, Animate by Character, Animate by Word, and Animate by Wipe but we think you'll use the first two more as they keep any changes in formatting. So once you've got your lyrics timed, they stay that way. Let's go through a whole example. I have some lyrics here. It's your turn to telephone, your turn to write. And I want to add some karaoke graphics. So go to the title sidebar in Final Cut Pro, find karaoke graphics, and we'll drop this one on to start off with. Just make sure that that lines up with the end. It comes in before she starts singing and I'll show you why a bit later and it's your yep if we click on and look in the inspector we can see we've got a mix on and mix off animations. Let me turn the mix off off and I'll show you why. I want actually want it to cut out otherwise it would dissolve out and these these lyrics actually happen quite close together. I want to keep that quite tight there. It's your turn. Okay, obviously the wrong lyrics. These are the dummy ones that we put in. So I've actually got the original lyrics here as a, in the paste buffer. It's always worth seeing if you can find the song lyrics online because then you can cut and paste them from the web page straight into the graphic and that saves a lot of time. It's your turn. Right, no animation at the moment. We can see we've got kind of like two words animated there. But what I'm going to do is go back to the start of the lyrics and put the animate parameter right down to zero. Okay, and add a keyframe. And nothing happens. So I need to go to the end of that lyric. To telephone. Round about there, I thought. And then push this animate parameter up to the end of where I want, which will be on that comma. And now when I go back and play. It's your turn to telephone. Your turn to run. You get an animation. One of the secrets of this plugin is you can fine tune everything, which is fantastic. So if I go control V it opens up the video animation. You can see the two keyframes I put in here, so there's not a problem. Just pick the keyframe up and drag it earlier. To telephone. And you see we've got it's that all happening earlier. To telephone. Your turn to right, a bit more. She starts singing You're There. Put another keyframe in. Your turn to right. And then we're going to push that to the end of right. Now, depending on your song, you might have to go through and sometimes do it word by word. Some of them could be really annoying like that. Sometimes you get lucky and you can go through a whole um, line in one go. Sometimes you have to put another keyframe in. I, was, I, I would say for this one, you probably need to kind of put a couple more keyframes in. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to, to keep telephone, it simple. Your turn to write. You know, it's not too far off. Maybe bring it a bit earlier. OK, one tip here is not only can you slide um, the keyframes, but if you hold the shift key down, you can select all of them and slide all of them in one go, which is really handy um, if you've got maybe a secondary line to make all of it happen earlier. Um, you don't have to do them one by one, which helps a lot, but we'll leave those there for the time being and just close video animation there. It's your turn. OK. I don't like the format, so let's change that. And everything's customizable in the inspector. So what I'm going to start off with, I'm going to do the outline. You don't have to have the outline. You can turn that off. I'm going to make that black, I think. Yep. And increase it a bit. Increase the width, but also make it a bit soft on the outside. And then we've got two colors here. We've got the start color, which is the unsung lyrics. And then we've got the white color, which is the bit that's been sung. So I'm going to keep that white, but I think I'm going to make that red. OK, that's not too bad. But I think that's a bit hard to read still. What I'm going to do is increase the size. And this is where the plugin's great because it keeps that formatting. So I can increase the size. But I quite like that size, but the, the break at the end of telephone is wrong. Not a problem. I just put a carriage return in and it still keeps the formatting. To telephone, your turn to roll which is really handy if you've ever had to do karaoke with two lines. It's a pain when you're trying to get that wipe. 
Okay, and I'm going to change the graphics for something a bit easier to read. I quite like that. It's your turn to telephone. Your turn to write. A couple of tips here. When you're animating with a character, it counts the spaces and it counts the punctuation as well. So you have to bear that in mind. And also another tip, if you've got a lot of text and you want it to come on quickly, you can actually go word and then that will animate on word by word rather than the character by character is up to you and that's the difference really between the two sets of plugins that we've got here animate by letter and animate by word there you can interchange between the two by just changing from character to word on there now you know how to animate the graphics let's have a look at the remaining controls in the inspector I've got X and Y controls so I can position the text where I like. You might have a big page that you need to get on, so you just push that up to the top. Mix on and mix off that we've covered. Font, I can select anything I wish. Size, you can have anything you want. It doesn't affect the timing. Alignment, you can justify it should you wish. We're centered at the moment. And vertical alignment is set to the bottom, so you can add more than one line and the whole text will go up rather than going down, which is quite handy. Line spacing, just put um, your cursor where you want the lines to break and then you can adjust that on there as well. There's two colours, the start colour and the highlight colour. The start colour is the text before anybody starts singing the line and then the highlight is where the singing should actually be in time. You can have whatever colour you like on there. And then the outline. Um, a lot of karaoke graphics have heavy outlines so that's why we've included this to make it easy to read. Um, you can either put these graphics over um, stills, we've got one at here, you can put them over moving backgrounds or video, but to make them stand out so people can read them, normally people put quite heavy outlines over the graphics and that's why we've got that. But you can change it, you can change the opacity, you can change the size, you can go bonkers if you want, um, and we've got a fade on there. And also to help it stand out a bit more, we've got the drop shadow, which really helps when you haven't got... Um, the outline on there you can push the drop shadow up. Let's move on to the third set and that's animate by wipe and there's two of them in the title sidebar and I put one already on the timeline that's the simple black and white. The difference here is that it does a wipe behind the graphics so if you can see if I do the animate wipe here we can see it goes behind so it's not by character or word it's actual wipe between the two. Now you might prefer that you might not but one thing I'd say here is the formatting doesn't stick with the wipe so if I was to push up the size here you can see that the wipe is moving or indeed if I just pick it up and move you can see that it doesn't follow it so it's, it's up to you you can use whichever one you're happy with some people like the wipe some people like the animate by character but we've decided to give you all three of them you can do whichever one you like or suits your graphics and you might have a preference now let's look at title pages and as the name would suggest they are title pages for your karaoke song and you can enter whatever you like, um, probably the song name and the artist, but we want a bit more info. Um, OK, we can drag this one on as well. This will give us the year, duration and key. Um, you can actually rename these to be anything you want on there, so it doesn't have to stick to those categories. And then we probably think you want uh, an animation on there to say who you are and your name and phone number maybe, so we give you that as well with this bottom line info. And lastly, prompts. Now, what do I mean about prompts? Well, if we go back to our original example here. It's your turn. How do you know when to start singing at the top of the tune? OK, well, I have this it's marker in here that I put in when I was doing the previous graphic. So I know that's the beginning. So if I drag the bar prompt on and put the end of it up to the beginning of the lyrics, you'll see we have a moving it's bar that moves and, and actually cuts out when it's time to sing. Now all I need to do is click on that and use the on-screen controls. What I'll do is I'll move that to the end and drag that down to the beginning of the lyric. It's your turn. And now I get this moving bar so that whoever's going to sing knows when to come in. And I can just again customise this to match it. So the outline is going to be black on there and the internal is going to be red. It's your turn. What I might do as well is just take the edge off that with the fade outside to match. It's your turn. To Alternatively, you can actually make that white. Maybe that might be a bit better. 
It's your turn. Anyway, many possibilities. We've also included a dots prompt, which does exactly the same thing as the line, but has three dots that go up to the beginning of the lyrics, and a progress bar that you can put down and show the time elapsed when nobody's singing. It might be in the middle of a middle eight or something like that, just to keep something on the screen that keeps people's attention. And obviously, as you drag this out, the speed of the bar changes so that you know when it comes to the end, then you're going to start singing. So there we have karaoke graphics and I hope that makes putting karaoke graphics on your videos a lot easier. Thanks very much, bye bye.